Hi guys, it's Wednesday! So I decided to uh, like search my computer and see if maybe I did have Windows Movie Maker, and I do. So this week we've got jump cuts, edits, possibly some pictures! Yay! I'm so excited. I hate quick capture, it makes me angry. Okay, so I just want to show you guys in detail my doodle that I put on Daily Boots today. So here we go. Can you even see any of it? Okay. Here is mm, here is a really badly drawn TARDIS, and then mm, right here is a badly drawn version of the original Doctor Who symbol, or the original from the new series. Mm, going the wrong way. And here is a very badly, very badly drawn new logo symbol. And right here is it says, "Ah, my paper's coming." Dies. And then we got some Doctor Who fan fiction. Shut up, Dean. Another mm, wrong side of the paper. Another badly, badly drawn TARDIS. Um, that's Rose and the Tenth Doctor. So you got the Tenth Doctor there. He's all skinny and tall with the hair. And I even draw some sideburns, although you can't really see them. And there's Rose with a really long torso and a skirt and really short legs. And it says the stuff of legend next to them. Over here, it says, oh my god, I am a he the biggest dork. Over here, it says the angels have the blue box. Here, it says time and relative dimension in space. There, it says Rose Tyler. Like the end of Doomsday when he's like, Rose Tyler, and then he disappears. And then we got, I believe in her, like from the Satan pit. And there we got my quick explosion notes. As you can see, there's a lot, so this is going to be a fun video. Katrina, I really enjoyed talking about uh, Phantom of the Opera with you the other night. It was awesome. You guys really do need to do a spoiler intervention on me because I know some things about Torchwood now. And I'm not even watching Torchwood. It's very upsetting. I'm only on the uh, third episode of season five of Doctor Who now. Um, I'm not even on it, actually. I haven't even started it because school has been beating my butt, but hopefully um, this weekend, uh, Saturday, I will have the room to myself, so I won't have to worry about waking up my roommate with Doctor Who, which will be fun. So yeah, hopefully this weekend I'll get a little more caught up. Dean, I am really amused that you uh, assigned yourself the Miyazaki challenge, because I was gonna assign it to you as soon as I saw that you didn't really see any. It's essential for uh, your continued existence to watch his movies because they are awesome. Uh, that was totally David Tennant in your Moby Dick novel. I don't know how he got there, but it was him. Whoever drew that was a Doctor Who fan, though it probably came out before that episode of Doctor Who. I actually don't own any abridged classics. I guess my mom didn't want me to be well-rounded in literature. I don't know. I spent most of my childhood reading Harry Potter, and I would just like shy away from the average classics. I agree with Dean one million percent that you need to watch Veronica Mars Katrina because it is seriously one of the best shows ever. It's so good. Like everything he said, just just everything he said, I'm saying it too. Last night I was talking to my friend Monica, and I said, "What is up?" But I like capitalized the word "up" to like have emphasis on it. And she said, okay, so me and Dean had this discussion, I believe it was yesterday, maybe the day before, about um, canon versus fanon, where, like, I mean, like, ships, or, oh, ships, I hate that word, like, couples or, like, events that happen in canon, and events or couples that happen, like, when fans make it up, like, Rose slash the 11th Doctor. Don't even look at me like that, Dean. So, we were talking about that, and I just wondered what your opinions were. Not on Rose and the Eleventh Doctor, which I'm pretty sure you'll have the same opinions as uh, Dean. But, um, I just wanted to know, Katrina, what your opinions are on canon versus fanon. I mean, I obviously love canon most of the time. Uh, but, like, if fanon, if there's a fanfiction with fanon and it's well written, which is really hard to come by, uh, I will be able to appreciate it. I mean, the only fanon that I'm really, like, deadly set against 
is Harry and Hermione. Because, seriously, no. 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 Dean, I hope you, um, write some troc for next week. I would really be interested to see what you write about. You can write about hating Martha. Challenge! I have a challenge for you guys. Watch the producers. Because I was really shocked to see that neither of you had watched it, either versions. Well, I don't know if you've watched the old one. But if you've seen the old one, watch the new one. If you've only seen the new one, watch the old one. If you haven't seen either of them, watch both of them. Because they are both so good. And John Barrowman is in the new one, singing Springtime for Hitler. And it's so funny. So, since it is I Hate Martha Jones Week, here is a Martha rant. Hey there, Miss Martha, why are you so sad? You're really starting to make me mad. I can't take any more of your crap. Oh, how I wish I could just give you a slap. Please be less sulky, please stop complaining. Please stop your sidelong looks while he's explaining. Martha Jones. How do I begin to describe Martha Jones? Martha Jones is annoying. I hear her Oscar Hagen key is a piece of crap. I heard she saved the world once, but no one cares. She was gonna be a doctor. Whatever happened to that? One time, she, the doctor met her on the moon, and he told her she was ugly. One time, I had a dream that I punched her in the face. It was awesome. Yeah. I just really hate Martha, and it's really annoying. There was someone on Tumblr who suggested that people only don't like her because she loved the Doctor, and I mean, I guess that's true, but because I am a huge fan of Rose and the Doctor, and I mean, he was already in love with Rose before she even came to the picture, so she can't just expect him to drop this like huge like love in order to love her, because she's annoying. Yeah, so that's my Martha rant. I hope you enjoyed it, and Katrina, I am so excited to see your rant on Friday. So I guess that's it for me tonight. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed my first video with editing. It was super fun. Um, Katrina, I will see you on Friday. Bye!